I am the practical mentor who gives you practical life hacks. This time, I am going to teach you how to convert fraction to decimal or vice versa, decimal to percent or vice versa. In this video, we shall learn the application of fraction, decimal, and percent in real life situations. When do we use fraction, decimal, and percent? We apply fraction in the following situations. When we divide a pie into equal parts to distribute to four children. When we measure the ingredients, solids, or liquids in baking a cake. Or when we weigh the fruits, vegetables, or meat that we want to buy. We apply decimal in the following situations. When we compute our grades at school. When we read the results of laboratory tests. Or when we write and compute money. We apply percent in the following situations. When we ask for discounts during sales. When we compute the probability of getting a king or a queen in a deck of cards. Or when we multiply the weight of a criterion in a certain contest or competition. Remember the FDF or PDF rule in conversion. Rule number one. We can convert fraction to decimal and vice versa. Rule number two. We can convert decimal to percent and vice versa. We can convert percent to fraction or vice versa if we apply either rule number one or rule number two first. Let's do this. How do we convert one over two or one half to decimal? We simply divide the numerator which is 1, by the denominator, which is 2. Watch and learn. 1 over 2 or 1 half becomes 0 0.5 or 5 tenths. How do we convert 0 0.5 or 5 tenths to percent? We simply move the decimal point two places to the right, then affix the percent sign. Watch and learn. 0 0.5 or 5 tenths becomes 50%. Let's have another example. 3 over 4 is read in fraction as 3 fourths. 0 0.75 is read in decimal as 75 hundredths. 75%. How do we convert 3 over 4 or 3 fourths to decimal? We simply divide the numerator, which is 3, by the denominator, which is 4. Watch and learn. 3 over 4 or 3 fourths becomes 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths. How do we convert 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths to percent? We simply move the decimal point two places to the right, then affix the percent sign. Watch and learn. 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths becomes 75%. Another example. 2 over 5 is read in fraction as 2 fifths. 0 0.4 is read in decimal as 4 tenths. 40%. How do we convert 2 over 5 or 2 fifths to decimal? We simply divide the numerator, which is 2, by the denominator, which is 5. Watch and learn. 2 over 5 or 2 fifths becomes 0 0.4 or 4 tenths. How do we convert 0 0.4 or 4 tenths to percent? We simply move the decimal point two places to the right, then affix the percent sign. Watch and learn. 0 0.4 or 4 tenths becomes 40%. Now let's do the otherwise. Example of percent, 40%. How do we convert 40% to decimal? Remember that percent means 1 out of 100. Drop the percent sign so that the percent sign 
becomes the decimal point. Then we simply move the decimal point two places to the left. Watch and learn. 40% becomes 0 0.40 or 40 hundredths or simply 0 0.4 or 4 tenths. Always write 0 before the decimal point if the value is less than 1. How about 9% to decimal? Observe that in the previous example, 40 is a two-digit number. This time, 9 is a single-digit number. In converting a single digit like 1 to 9, the same rules apply. Drop the percent sign so that the percent sign becomes the decimal point. Then we simply move the decimal point two places to the left, but we need to add or write zero between the decimal point and the said digit. In this case, it becomes 0 0.09 to read as 9 hundredths. 9% is equal to 0 0.09 or 9 hundredths. The same is true with 2% where it becomes 0 0.02 or 2 hundredths. How do we convert 0 0.4 or 4 tenths to fraction? In this case, observe that it has one decimal place that is 4. Simply drop the decimal point, then write 4. The denominator must be the decimal place of 4, which is tenths. Remember, the place value of the number immediately at the right of the decimal point is always tenths. The next to it is hundreds. Let's go back to our given. 4 over 10 or 4 tenths. Is this the final answer? If you say no, you are correct. Why? Because this fraction is not yet expressed in its lowest term. How do we reduce this to lowest term? Remember the step number 6 in the video lesson in fractions? Think of a number that we can divide to both the numerator and the denominator, that is without a remainder. Example, 4 tenths. Are 4 and 10 divisible by 2? Yes, both of them are divisible by 2. Are 4 and 10 divisible by 3? Both of them are not. Are 6 and... Cut. Are 4 and 10 divisible by 4? 4 is yes, but not 10. We can conclude, therefore, that both the numerator and the denominator should be divisible to that number. That is, when you divide that number, they both should have no remainder. If we divide 4 by 2, the answer is 2. If we divide 10 by 2, we get 5. Thus, the lowest term for the 4 tenths is 2 fifths. Watch for more examples. That's all guys, see you next time.